Welcome back to the Spearhead cast, everyone, and welcome to a 1v1 on the Western Front on a map called Dyke or Canals, I think. Candle Park, I believe this one is called, actually. It's on the workshop. Anyway, let's go for the players. We have... Wait, no, we have... Actually, that's Professor. We have Professor <laughs> playing as the United States of America as Ralph for Company with Blue and Grey coming straight at the gate. And we have Rachel as the Wehrmacht, well, not the commander yet. That should be interesting. So the Americans are heading into this Dutch town, or Dutch city rather, and we're going to have an engagement between the Wehrmacht and the United States here. Pretty nice looking map. Again, it's called Canal, Canal Park, I believe. Anyway, double blue and grey. So it has a cheaper version of the rifleman you can get if you're playing as rifle company. Pretty useful. You're seeing normal riflemen coming up behind the first, first rifle division. The big red one, as it was also labeled, because they used a big one symbol and it was often red. So, big red one is kind of where that comes from. And it looks like we have both square ideas and normal gradients come out, so a little bit of everything for the Germans just to get a base of fire. Up, wiring up some cover so the Americans cannot use it. Got a vanilla tactic to use, I believe. Hey, well, the Americans are slowly securing a lot more territory than the Germans are. Like, the Germans haven't even connected this fuel. And the blue and grey are engaging with the pioneers here at the outskirts of the park. I think this is the park, actually. Hmm. Double blue and grey, but the blue and grey are not very good quality infantry, so the Germans might have the advantage here. Especially with the gradiers flanking the blue and grey there. Both gradiers pushing up here to get some fire. Now, the blue and grey are still armed with semi-automatic weaponry. So they are still good if you get close to them. Mostly is getting really close here. And there we go, they mowed down the blue and grey, and that's another blue and grey gonna die. Ooh. And that's a pretty bad one. But the Germans are still not capturing their terrain. They're not getting any resources in. Well, the Americans are getting resources. Alright, yes, I'm moving back to reconnect the lines. We also have a commander choice, that's infanterie, okay. So, US rifle versus uh, Wehrmacht inf infantry. So that's a very interesting match. That's gonna mean these German infantry are gonna veterans you up pretty fast once uh, he starts tearing up. Right, they're trying to get some flanking fire there into the Volks Gradius. Also, the Volks against some good shots though. More blue and grey coming up. If the Nurgrad can get close, they will do a lot of damage. Looks like the Germans are doing a full retreat, though. They don't want to stay here and fight this one. We have a third Volksgradier coming in. We have a lot of Volksgradiers being pushed, uh, pushed onto this battlefield. Looks like a third Kels coming up for the Americans. This is going to be air cooled. Doing great taking in, but they should probably have advanced a little bit more, in my own opinion. And now that's going to be three Volksgradia squads. Now the Sturmgewehrs are visual, as I've said before in this current patch, but I think that's planned to be changed back again. Anyway, as infantry, you can get actual Sturmgewehr 44s, which obviously makes a little, very little sense if you're playing as infantry, because you're already armed with it. Regardless, it'll give them fully automatic Sturmgewehrs, which can really make Volksgradias a lot more lethal. Like, way, way more lethal than you'd think. We also have an MG42 coming up behind this while they are taking up. Now all the weapon teams and normal infantry should get free veterancy when they for each tier they're on. So like when this tier one pops, all German infantry should, yeah, all German infantry instantly became veterancy one, which is going to be a very big factor, I think. Both good is engaging a thirty cal up here. That's not a fight the Volksgrenier's want to take, I think. The 30 kills so far is doing a good job. But Germans are engaging with the Americans along the uh, edge of the park here. 242 rushing up. It's also emergency one thanks to weapon teams that are also affected by it.
Okay, Miss Lion might be building up for a push here, but there's only two blue and grey holding. Yes. Might be planning to encircle them. And you thought you up behind this broken down car? Let me just check if I am recording. I always want to make sure. Okay. I seem to be. That's good. We also got an upgrade on the blue and grey. Looks like they got cook grenades. Okay. That means they essentially they prime the grenade before throwing it, which is a very dangerous thing to do, but uh, it works. Okay, that's the second first rifle division coming onto the field. It looks like the blue and grey are just delicate to hold this flank. Rathman are coming down here with an air-cooled 30 cal. Pretty powerful, like, machine gun for the Americans. You can access this rifle division. And really make the rifleman into a very good static defense unit. Throwing a pineapple. That looked good for that boat. It's great. They're definitely getting out of there. Oh, great. Under blue and gray. Killing them. Blue and gray taking some pretty heavy losses. And again, the blue and gray are very cheap, so you can just get a lot of them. It's very easily to just hold the line. You have a mortar set up as well. And they're gonna run into the MT42. That's not good for those American riflemen. You have also making the push in the northern flank here. We are actually not trying to hold the line here, but I don't think they'll hold for long. That's a great coming in on them. And there they go. They did throw a pineapple, though. We lost an infantry unit. That's a parting gift. Americans going to need to relocate some squads northwards. They have a second 30 cal. Both sides are taking some pretty good losses at the moment. But the Germans are pushing up and securing the American fuel. Which could have a big impact on the battle to come, depending on if the American wants to go for vehicles early. More blue and gray coming up here to replace the front line. Pretty neat looking map in all honesty, I like it. Looks like something big happened down here, holy shit. Or German infantry coming to the front line, they're still up in arm with actual functioning storm gears. Only with the visual ones. And yeah, I can kind of see why the confusion would be, especially if you're playing as infantry. I'm sure if infantry gave them another weapon that could work better, but I don't know. Like, and they have said they will go back to the car 98, so I suppose that's just how it's gonna be. Or 30 kills being handed out to the American riflemen. I think Blue and Grey could probably push up a little bit just to cause some uh, capping issues. Most good is going to fight face up against these riflemen. Now the riflemen do have the 30 cals, which is definitely going to show itself. Now these both good are behind cover though. So they are doing a lot of damage, actually. They're throwing a bomb flash it. Is he a German industrial made Molotov? It was actually made with, it, with an igniter inside the bottle, so pretty neat little thing. So it was, it's not a Molotov. It's essentially a specialized weapon. These five men are going to do too well. I think they might get both down here. No, they might actually get out, thanks to the blue and gray in the beginning. I managed just to save those riflemen. It's a very nice job there from the blue and grey. Although the blue and grey are going to suffer for it here shortly. The blue and grey actually getting some good kills despite everything. This was an AT going to be able for the Americans here. And the Germans are calling the quits. They're falling back. MG42 setting up though. Double 30 kill on the northern front here, yeah, okay. Looks like the Americans want to lock down that part of the map. Panzer F1 arriving for the Germans. Basically, if you support tank for the Germans, you can get from the second to you.
or being out with an MP42 on top, and also a pack 40 arriving. And the Americans don't have any AT options on the northern flank here. Yeah, they're gonna need some as you with an F1 because an F1 is a little bit more heavily armored than uh, than what the American riflemen can deal with, I think. And this vertical is gonna have trouble, but it's hiding. It's not revealing its position. AT gun is relocating as quickly as it can. Probably received a report that an F1 is arriving. The machine gun has to open fire, it's revealed. It's looking it's opening fire the tank though. And that's a 30 cal that's gonna die. Too much fire coming in on them. As it is destroyed entirely. Stuart coming up for the Americans though. Has to rush to the front line. Now, one of my of the blue and grey is you can merge them into other American squads. Something most American units don't get. Well, the reaction on though, but the reaction on are dead by this point, as we can see. And now we are seeing Stoongewehrs being uh, upgraded on the Volksgradius. These are going to become a lot more lethal at medium to close range. Stuart moving up very quickly. Hmm, the Americans have to figure out something to do here. Hansebuchs and the Pioneers. Tank, nope. Ta tank on is running for the Americans here, and the tank team. Fifty seven millimeters start getting the best shots here. And the Boscrius is slowly killing the crew. They actually they killed killed the crew right there. You also have some uh, Pegasus Division Stormtroopers coming in. Unique unit to be able to infantry division. We can only have one of them in the field at a time. Get a good squad that can be utilized for all kinds of operations, depending on how you operate them. That nah, folks, good. You might not get out of there. Yeah, they're gonna move down. And this squad is obviously being armed with Sturmgewehrs. Who would have who guessed? They are stormtroopers, after all. Americans need to heal up. They need to get some kind of medic station as well, just so they can have their units at full combat effectiveness. Now, this blue and gray is, has all five members of the squad ready, but it has very low health. So that's an issue. Also not allowed to cover the southern flank anymore. So the stormtroopers are going to move in alongside some grenadiers here. Like 40 up to cover the main road. Stuart is coming down though. Now if now if they get too close to the uh, stormtroopers, they will destroy with a Panzerfaust. So he needs to be cautious. He is using the canister shots though. Essentially turning the Stuart into a giant mobile shotgun. Which can actually be very lethal for these uh, these elite squads. Indeed they're pulling back. Pack is present though. Gonna get a good flanking shot here, I think. No, I cannot see it. Radius also don't have any AT weapon apart from an AT and a tank grenade. Oh, good shot there from the pack, but the student is still alive. And say F1 is also still there, right? Still around. The tank team could just relocate. And Stuart needs repairs somehow. He 
He's going to be Echelon to, to get up, but an A2 Sherman is coming onto the field. Asuga missed. A good shot. But F1 is not doing the best job here of getting through the defenses. Armor here. I'm not coming onto the field. They'll probably be used to repairing the, the Stuart. Overrun. Sherman is pulling out, pushing out though. A2 Sherman will definitely be a little bit of a surprise. No Panzerfaust have been provided for the Volksgrade here, so they're going to be severely under-equipped to deal with it. F1 also has to be careful. The A2, I believe, can beat the F1 in a straight-up fight. And again, the A2 is actually not that bad of a tank. It's a Sherman. And the Sherman is actually a pretty decent tank. But the Pack 40 there. Good shot! Sherman has to be very cautious at this moment. Oh! Lost its gun, but it's still alive. But the F1 can go in for the kill now. Tank team has to, anti tank team has to move up quickly. Shit, he's not moving the anti tank team. That F1 is going to go in for the kill. But the high explosive first. Doing the machine gun. But his engine has gone through to an anti-tank grenade. Ambulance down. And the tank team is not moving. Oh god, this is bad. Why is the anti-tank team not moving? He will get up in behind this position very quickly and uh, done a flanking shot. That's not good at all. Yeah, there goes the Sherman. Oh, that's bad. Panzer 4 H coming in behind this as well. Oh, that's not looking good for the Americans. Wait till later, Nath. I tanked him there. Destroyed the F1, though. Oh, well, decrewed it. But they are not gonna get out of there, I think. Yeah, all the German infantry is pushing up quickly. Both Gradius and Gradius pushing up here. They're not being equipped with their 100 round version, though. So they're regaling on the 50 round version. Hmm. I would always say go for the uh, 100 round version of players playing as infantry. It's only 10 more munitions and it's just way better. There's like no downsides to picking a 100 round version. The steward's not even repaired. Oh god. That's not good at all. The pack 40 is still somewhere. And for ages on the field, though, so the Americans are gonna have a hard time. Oh, it's not looking too good, though. I think the Germans do have the upper hand. Americans had a very good start, start early on, but I think the Germans are just trying to overman them. We even have Jaegers being called in, and another unique infantry available to uh, infantry division. You can have two of them on the field at a time. Good for fighting in rough terrain. Although I wouldn't say a city is rough terrain personally. They'll probably still do good because they're considered recon infantry. We have lost a panzer. Ready is pushing all the way up here. Yeah, that's not a good good idea, I think. Especially with pineapple grades. But the Panzer 4 H will definitely be quite a threat. And the Jaegers? I wonder what they're going to equip the Jaegers with. Yeah, probably the Scopes, Scopes Doom Givers. This used to be a very common one to go for with them. I guess everyone just likes Doom Giver weapons. We are losing a sector. Another great idea coming up behind us. Range gun for the Americas is a much better AT gun than the previous 57mm, which can still be recruited, by the way. So it's not lost. Probably she needs to take that point to get any fuel. And Germans have it pinned down by an MG42 now. Stormtroopers pushing up. Stuart under fire. Yeah, tank on out in the open is not gonna work. Our supply line's cut. 
Good shot there from the H. That's a force pushing up again. the machine guns to try and kill the crew and mortar hit it hits in as well oh that's not good the okay, machine gun has been removed at least and all the German infantry is pushing up now Masuka missed Pretty good firefight here though, but I think that the Germans have the upper hand. The tank on the stead and everything. Enemy forces are securing our territory. Building goes down, oh god. Looks like the American infantry made it out though. A2 Sherman is down, however. Jaeger's pushing up. Get an MG34, that's a very good. Good weapon on him, in all honesty. Never, never underestimate the MT-34. It's a very good weapon. Just because it fires 300 rounds less than the MT-42 a minute, does not mean it's bad. And the Americans are taking severe losses here. Oh, yeah, the blue and gray just getting mowed down. But I guess the Germans are going to be able to keep this part of a city in the Netherlands. This Dutch city will probably be a better way of saying it. Poor park. I'm just poor, poor Dutch city. In all honesty, so much going on. But all the veterans stuff from all the, Ge the Germans are getting, thanks to being infantry, is kind of showing. Because uh, they're dropping in some new weapons, probably an AT gun and a machine gun. Oh, it's a mortar actually, 81 millimeter. Double anti-tank team coming out and another blue and grey. Germany's gonna start scavenging, scavenging the wrecks, I think. Yep. It's gonna give them some more supplies to work with. Although the Germans by far have the upper hand currently, they're also getting a Stu 42 behind this. He's destroying the AT guns to deny them to the Americans. However, you can actually scavenge them if they are fully repaired, and you'll get more out of them actually. Now you can you cannot you can, don't have to just scavenge the wrecks. You can fully scavenge a fully operational weapon. And you'll get a fair amount of resources from that. It's the strip it of everything they can. Yeah, not looking good here. That A2 start Oh he's got his Yeah, he's actually scavenging it, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But he's being shot at uh, as he tries to do it. Easy or day. Day has the better thing to say, I think. That's Rachel, so that would I think that would be something in that aspect, but I don't know. I think the American border has arrived a little bit too late though at this point, because the Germans soon have the weapons to push in. Americans do have double anti tank teams though, which if they're lucky could hurt that Panzer 4 H. Oh, very good bazooka shots. Well, the squad's are in trouble. And the Jaeger's on the flank here. And there's 242 is coming up here. This thing will just destroy any infantry groups at all. In infantry groups in short succession because it essentially is a howitzer on a stook. So all these units will just get blown to pieces. Command Panzer 4 GA coming up behind this as well, I think. Yep. Ready for 
Domtov's holding the front line. Now, but the Americans are not really getting any resources. They've been completely cut off at the moment. There we go, Stuna has a machine gun. We'll probably just drive up like this and destroy everything in their path. Yeah, it's gonna start firing. Ah, the first shot did not do that much. A2 is trying to push up though. American riflemen are suffering though, thanks to the stormtroopers. But the high explosive on the Sherman almost kills the stormtroopers entirely and their cover. Stu has revealed itself though by a shot that didn't penetrate the Sherman. And those that tank teams are not going to do well against the veterans with five Vox Gradius with Sturm Gewehrs. That's a pretty lethal squad. Now with the Panzer 4 command tank coming up, it's going to be even harder. Are they to do anything against all this armor is the question. Probably not. Another free inch coming up for the Americans. Stu pulling up. Okay, looks like Professor calls the GG. Just as the Germans are going to make another push with their vehicles. I hope you all enjoyed this short one. And I'll see you all in the next one, everyone. Bye-bye.